How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Um, today we are heading, me, by we, me and Will, um, cooking with clams, if you aren't familiar. He's upstairs cooking something right now, but uh, as he always is. But once he's, get, once he's done, we're gonna head out on the water. Uh, there's a little bit of wind today, but I did want to get out and mainly test uh, the new live well. If you've been watching the videos recently, uh, we just finished this custom Ginu. Uh, one of a kind has not been done before. So we've got a lot of things we've been working out, not really kinks, but just kind of getting used to everything. Uh, and the live well is one of them that I did want to um, kind of get dialed in. I've already tested it once. I started with one drain. I ended up adding a second just because I'm guessing they're kind of angled down instead of straight down. So they're not draining as fast as I thought they would. Um, but I figured while we're out there testing that, maybe hopefully we can find some live bait uh, and maybe do a little fishing. I did want to answer a couple questions as far as driving and some of the other aspects of the boat. When I did the reveal video, a lot of you guys had uh, quite a bit to say about it. So we'll, we'll go in a little more depth on that and um, figured I'd bring you guys along. We're going to throw the boat in here shortly and uh, let's get out there. Alright, so first things first, I want to get this live well hooked up um, and get it going, make sure it's draining properly. And I'll show you kind of the concept behind this. I'm going to have Will hold the camera. Um, this is obviously removable. One of the reasons I went with removable is because we don't dive, a, or we don't fish a ton. We dive more than we fish, but I do fish sometimes. And it'd be nicer to have like this, a bigger live well that if I want to fill the big boat up with bait or if we're going tuna fishing or something, I have a live well big enough that I can catch bait, take it to the big boat. Um, so there's a lot of thought that went into this. Like I said, it's not the prettiest thing ever, but it is functional and that's my main concern. So this is our disconnect. These are actually for uh, wakeboard ballast tanks from my understanding. And uh, I just pop right in there, pull that red clip forward and it snaps into place. And my live well is connected. All right, so it's hooked up and that hose runs up under the deck all the way to the back. And um, in the back I have uh, 1100 gallon per hour aerator pump. It's probably a little overkill for this, but you can always pump less. You can't pump more. If I want to pump less, I just close the valve a little bit. And also back there, one of the biggest differences between this boat and the last boat is I added a high speed pickup. And what that means is while I'm running, the live well is still circulating. Our baits are very finicky down here, especially the pilchards. Um, they're very sensitive. So the ability to have that water circulating even while I'm on a plane is uh, a big deal. So I'll hit that, give it a sec. And voila, we've got water. So like I said, today, main thing, want to test this, make sure it's draining properly, um, move it around a little bit. If I have to uh, maybe add some hose later, we'll see. I wanted to have Will in the boat and myself in the boat, a decent amount of gear just to see how much um, movement we need, honestly. Um, we're full of gas, 12 gallons, coolers full of ice. Uh, pretty much loaded down as we would be fishing so uh, we're gonna let this fill up we'll see how it handles then we'll go look for some live bait so one of the more common questions i got about the new build is why is the console up front everyone was really well not everyone a lot of you liked it a lot of you told me you hated it which is fine it's not your boat it doesn't bother me um i'm more about functionality and back here in the back country and in the flats this gives me a much better perspective looking out for bait, looking for rock piles, looking for spots. Um, I can see where it's getting shallower. On the old boat, I was sitting down, so anytime I had to look for something, I had to stand up, hold on to the control, sit up and down. So you can see from up here, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I have a much better view. So right now what I'm doing is just driving around looking for bait. Um, and we'll see if we can find any. And another thing, uh, everyone was concerned with me standing up and driving all the time on my big boat. I stand up and drive all day. That's my job. I'm a charter captain. Um, it's a little bit of stress on your knees, but I mean, that's any job in, in life where you're on your feet. Um, I am wearing these really thick, cushy sandals that are really grippy and they're kind of like a, a helm pad. So that saves my knees and my back a little bit. And another thing, I think I already said it, this boat is not built for rough seas and it's not built for chop. I'm not going to have it out here when it's really rough and uh, just beating myself to death. There's no reason to do that. So, um, yeah, just wanted to elaborate a little more on that. And um, we we're looking for bait. So the live well seems to be doing almost perfect. The water le water levels right at the top. 
but not overflowing. I mean, that'll change a little once I throw baits in there because the seaweed will clog the drains a little bit, but pretty close to perfect. I'm happy with it. The weight seems okay. The boat's not too bow heavy or anything, and it's uh, it's actually heavy enough that when I'm running, it's the, it doesn't slide back, so. I'll call it a W. So this time of year, the water heats up quite a bit in the summertime. Uh, and these, these live pilchards get a lot harder to find. Um, they're, they're quite a bit more prevalent in the winter and the cooler months, but sometimes you can still find them. So I was coming around this corner right here and I ran, it looked, they're a little deep, but it looked like the right bait. So I'm gonna kind of flip around and drift across that flat and see if we can run into them. Hopefully that was them. So they looked like fairly small baits. I brought two nets. Um, I've got a 10 foot 3 8. And a, and a 10 foot 3 16. The 3 16 obviously is much smaller. Hopefully won't gill smaller baits. I normally like to throw a quarter inch net. But my quarter inch is down at the big boat. I didn't feel like driving down there. So we're gonna throw the small Mahua net. how big the school was it was pretty small but we got some <laughs> We may get to go fishing after all. Just to keep YouTube laying real, we've been looking for bait for about an hour. Maybe a little longer, but I'm gonna try and get another throw or two on them. It's like such a small school. You didn't give me the heads up. I don't I know was, if I... I, did, I didn't have a heads up. <laughs> that was a drive-by. <laughs> We've done more with less, so I think we're all right. give it a shot same thing as always just light leader 15 to 25 ish depending on visibility how big the snappers are we're gonna try and catch some snappers I've got a little jig head just a small spinner and some live bait well too big I can't catch them <laughs> through the lip
Last time we were here, I was actually diving and I saw some really, really big snappers that I couldn't get shot on. Oh, there's a few. Maybe too much current. Not gonna get down. Not gonna get down. The current is moving. After this thing, the last well, the last well was so small, you could catch them easy. Oh, dude. Oh, what was it? Goliath. Well, that's not what we're fishing for, Will. So why are you lollygagging back there? Do you have another hook or am yeah. I out? No, <laughs> of course it. I brought hooks. <laughs> I, don't, I don't bring hooks when I go. What is done? Did you, dude? The thing I came. Didn't, I didn't see it. It came out. It's all slow, and I was like, "What am I looking at?" It looked like a seaweed clump. No. Oh no. Yeah, it's. Oh, right. dude, there are some juicy grovers in there. Yes, there are. Wow, there is no, no getting past that call, that's for sure. Oh, here you Full service here, man. <laughs> what does this look like? Oh. Tree fishing. So ideally, with this much current, I'd probably go up a jig head. Unfortunately, I don't think I brought any big ones. There may be one in there. He missed it. He swiped at it. Over two. Oh. You got the glide? I don't know. It feels like it. Bring them up here. I want my hook back. That's gotta be the Goliath. <laughs> I have really light leader, so this is not. So see how it's skipping like that? He's already wrapped around a tree. Uh, oh, the odds of me getting this back are not very good. <laughs> you hear it? How big was it? I it's got to be 25 inches. Yeah, 30, 30 I only inches? saw his head. His head was the size of a basketball. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause I can't. I can't do much to stop this thing. Well, you you keep them on, and I'll catch some snappers. Keep them keep them occupied. Put them in there, dude. I almost want to. Your grandmother gave me this hook. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get our lines nice and tangled. Yeah, there you go. He's not thrilled. Okay. Working on it. I don't. I was literally saying, I don't know how this hasn't popped yet. <laughs> Not ideal. Not what I'm going after, but... Yeah, that's 15 pound mono. I don't know how that lasted that long. So there's some nice mangroves here. Just won't cooperate. The Goliath ate our first two baits and then... Quite a bit of current. You can't get the baits to go down. And when even when they do go down, the snappers are coming in and looking at them and just not buying it. So... I'm gonna move along. Like really close to my face. That was kind of cool, huh? Yeah. Bunch of cormorants just took off all together. Um, so the area that we're in is a little more susceptible to the current. The tide's coming up and the current is just cruising through here. Uh, and the fact that I only have the small jig heads is making it difficult. The baits are just staying on the surface, just flying past everything. So 
Um, we're actually going to run a little bit and get a little more inland where there's not as much effect from the tide uh, and give it another try over there. You ready? <laughs> so update on the live well. That was kind of the purpose of this trip. Um, it, it seems to be flowing really well. I think the, the pump may be a little big. We haven't lost a single bit yet and I've been running around and chop quite a bit. Um, you can see because these are fairly flat coming out, I had to raise the uh, live well so it would go over the rail. Because they're flat, they're not getting a ton of drainage. Um, but it's enough to keep it pretty level. I closed the valve in the back a little bit, but I think worst case, uh, when this 1100 goes out, I may replace it with an 800 or a 500, but uh, so far so good. Now let's just see if we can catch a fish. <laughs> Order for the first, the biggest, and the most. <laughs> what was that? I don't know if the camera's facing you good. I don't know. Maybe. Cut it right in half. Not in half. Oh. <laughs> that's not a that's a barracuda it feels like. I think that's what got me as well. Just a baby one. Slime dart? That's gotta be what took mine. Yeah. Just a little short. We like the we actually like the small barracudas. Um, Will has a fish cake recipe that'll make you a believer in barracuda. <laughs> Target species acquired. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. Hey. So technically I got the first and the most. <laughs> and the biggest. Oh boy. So apparently all micros here. We're gonna nudge in a little bit closer. I know there's some big ones that live here. We just gotta find them. Small barracudas are tearing us apart. All right, we're moving. I don't have any fish in the store. <laughs> hot dogs. Hot dogs? Yeah. <laughs> they do have hot dogs at the store. Schooled. That's a keeper. Okay. Holy crap, it's a fish. <laughs> Four hours in. Oh my God. There's, a knife, there's a knife in here to brain him and bleed him. Got a pretty active little ball of mangroves right here on this corner. We finally found a, a good set of them. Will just got a nice one probably. Look at the color he lost. Huh. Hold that one up there. So the trick to outfishing Aaron is that you gotta wait till he's really preoccupied with something and get a bait in the water <laughs> while, <laughs> while he's not fishing. But uh, I'm gonna go with biggest. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. The little guy. That brain's on you yeah, have Yeah, under your under your seat. They are hungry right here on this corner. We'll see if we'll fish it for a sec, see if any of the bigger ones continue to show up. Just the baby. They only gotta be 10 inches where we are, but typically don't keep them under 12 or 13. Definitely have the 
most. <laughs> and the first. Not the biggest. You got a big one? Maybe 12. Okay, okay. We'll call to come back. Double check. He looks well, but. No. Look at that. <laughs> I'll show you the brain angle. Do not come from the top of the head. Just in the quarter, kind of behind the eye, and that is it right there. But that is the angle. Right under the gills for the blood. I like to bleed everything that we catch. We made, some, made up some ground there. Got three keepers in about 20 minutes. Four hours of nothing, three or four hours. Sorry, three o'clock. <laughs> That's fishing. I hated it earlier, now I'm having fun. <laughs> it's funny how that works. I think we should move down a little, see if we can find any more bigger ones. Take to death by the small ones. That's gotta be Barracuda. Yeah? Oh. Hey. I'm gonna show you a trick. Go through the gills if you don't have pliers. Down in there. Just be careful not to break any of the gills. I don't know if you can see this. Get my fingers on it. Twist it out of there. Pull it free. No pliers needed. Kill trick. Well, that is all we have out here. I will call it a success. Uh, live well worked for the most part gloriously. I may end up going down a little um, bit on my pump size. I, right now, like I said, I have 1100. May end up going with eight. Uh, but for the most part, it did great. Not a single bait died throughout the day. We ran around quite a bit. We've been running around since. Uh, about 10.30 this morning. It is 3.30 this afternoon. It's a little bit choppy, so the boat was bouncing a bit and every single bait stayed alive, so I'll call it a success. Now, uh, one of the coolest parts about this boat is we have been running around for four hours and I burnt 2.4 gallons of gas. But, won't be a cook on this one. Um, got some stuff I gotta do the next few days, so. Um, as always, any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, that's all I have. You got anything you wanna share, Will? <laughs> just that I caught the biggest fish. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just want to make sure everyone's Every, on the same page. We'll caught the biggest fish. I'll All admit right. it. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Later.